Did you see that Ashley got some chickens? You told me the other day. Yeah. I asked her why she got the chickens. Uh-huh. And she said, because! I think you've done that joke. Like no, I have not. Ten times. I have not. Yes, you have. Nope. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts of Corbin. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. Stop doing what you're doing. Cock a doodle doo. Uh, we got a video. This is a video from this channel. Read this right there for me. It says. Ronick Mungotil, and I know I butchered that. I'm sorry, I'm, but that's what the channel is. Uh, and it's, we've seen many of his videos. You'll recognize them. Uh, the most disturbing and shocking indie movies you must watch at your own risk. Excellent. Uh, we've seen, uh, you recognize him, that guy. Yeah. Uh, oh, I recognize him. Yeah, yeah, we like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, we like he, him. He makes good, uh, and he doesn't usually spoil, so. Um, I've been told it doesn't give spoilers away outside of the the what you know it's what what's one of the most disturbing shocking films you've seen in recent in india would no anywhere i don't know did you see dang it i'm gonna forget the title of it it was a i believe it's a french film um ah! a lady on fire yeah i saw that. no 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 it's amazing it's a single word it's a single title came out a couple years ago I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of it. It was really disturbing. When the movie ends, you're like, Whoa. I want to. I want to find it. I want to. I want to. I want to find it after this. When we're talking, I'm going to look it up on my phone, and because I know I'll find it if I just look up most shocking films in the last five years, it's going to pop up. Old boy. Jumping off a mountain with Tom Cruise, witnessing the explosion of an atomic bomb, wearing pink and entering the world of Barbie, or seeing every color explored in the Keijo universe. Just in the last month, movies gave us so much escapism in the form of big screen entertainment. But sometimes, some films go in another direction. Films that aim to shock your core, set your heart racing, challenge your Barton thoughts, stink. haunt your mind, or even change your perspective towards life, a group of people, or an issue that you're unaware or choose to ignore. Today's video is a mix of such films with seven disturbing and shocking must-watch Indian films. And number one on that list is Mahanadi. Written by and starring the treasure of Indian cinema, Kamal Hassan. In his own life, when he got Not a surprise, he's on the list. Planning to kidnap his daughters for a ransom, it became the seed for the story of a father who goes through the most difficult hardships a man can face in this world. I remember hearing about this. Family, kind of like a Liam Neeson kind of thing? Yeah, but it was inspired by true events Even that happened to him. Even if it's one of the saddest films ever made in Tamil cinema, it was critically and commercially acclaimed because of its emotionally engaging story and Kamal Hassan's powerful performance. Both of which will refuse to leave your mind long after the credits roll. I watched Mahanadi once as a teenager, but I can still remember the feeling of the scene when Kamal's character reacts to his daughter talking in her sleep. Probably one of the most heartbreaking we moments didn't watch of this, did we? that hits like Not to my a memory. of bricks every time you even think of it. From exploring Which the dark side of? of urbanization to naming each character after major Indian rivers, Mahanadi is much more than a family drama. It's a layered classic that's increasingly relevant with multiple takeaways. Much like many films written by Kamal Hassan. Tanmatra. Like Krishna from Mahanadi, Ramesh and Nair is another such hero for his family, but unlike Krishna, it's not the world and the darkness of human beings that brings the darkness in his life. It's his own mind. Ramesan is a man very, very well respected in the society. Honest government employee great husband, brilliant father. The kind of man who will make you think, I wish my father were more like this. And to such a man, when he starts to struggle with basic tasks, forgetting things, losing his grip Alzheimer's. on his memories, when a disease like Alzheimer's uh -huh. starts eating away the idea of this perfect the worst man, disease. you feel like those children whose world slowly starts crumbling down. Oh, I want to see death. this. Their father was their world. Imagine this, Ramesan has been working in the secretariat office for many, many years and is highly respected by his colleagues for his honesty, for his integrity and his spotless track record. But one day, he just walks into the office with a bag of vegetables, sits at his desk and starts taking 
off his clothes, confusing the secretary for his own home and shocking the rest of his colleagues who used to look up to him. Based on writer director Padmarajan's story Orma, Tanmatra is a relentless Did you see Still Alice? Director Blessy, no. elevated by an unforgettably These... moving Alzheimer's is like the worst disease I can Lal think of, man. Will haunt you for years. I want to see this. See him smiling trying to recollect a recent memory. Try not to cry. Ugly. If Mahanadi and Tanmatra were about parents who are willing to do anything for their children, we still haven't seen the real version. Who should have never become parents in the first place. Definitely among his top five films, Anurag Kashyap's Ugly is raw, dark, twisted, unforgiving, exceptionally engaging, and at the same time hilarious. Post the success yes. of Gangs of Wasipur, Anurag had enough credibility to make this film happen without sharing the script with anyone else by just saying, "Trust me, bro," which is like <laughs> in a lot of improvisation by the actors, like the police station. Yeah, so probably. Probably one Wonderful of the scene. Most funniest sequences in a film that's not a comedy. On the other side, there's that deeply disturbing ending that I still get nightmares about, and I can't think of any other film that balances extremes of comedy and shock so well. Another Agreed. Good observation. Is that even this film came from real life, starting from Anurag Kashyap's own broken marriage, his alcoholism at the time, and the guilt of being unable to spend time with his daughter. It's also described as Anurag's most exhausting filmmaking experience. They shot for 14 hours a day. Over 40 days in real, constricted locations in the streets of Mumbai, putting his crew and his actors through hell to make the film look real. Like Vineet Kumar Singh getting slapped for over 50 times by Girish Kulkarni to reflect the actual brutal methods of the Indian police. Visarne. The scariest part about this Vetri Maran film about police brutality is knowing that while I'm talking to you right now, this is actually happening to someone, guilty or innocent, out in the open like George Floyd in America, mm. or in police custody like Jairaj and Benix in Satangulam. Just one of the many custodial deaths that happen every single day. Visarne literally translates to interrogation. But when the main characters who are heard about this one. Yeah, me too. to do with the crime are apprehended by the police just because they look like they could fit a profile and beaten mercilessly irrespective of the time of the day with each strike on the body that pulls off a little bit of flesh and a little bit of justice itself you wonder is the police actually interested in interrogating I want to see all of these the truth or are they doing oh, it to close the case <laughs> for a system that they are I'd watch it again are they doing it because they can actually we have haven't to, seen the original version of it yeah because they want that's, to for that's fun true. and what's the guarantee that this will never happen to you or anyone you know because 30% of the cases in india are closed this way partly based on the novel lock up by chandra kumar even if visarne still haunts me and audiences like me i'm proud of this film not because it won all the national awards not because it was our best chance at the oscars that year but mainly because it's a rare indian film a rare tamil film that's come so close to portraying the naked truth on the big screen attaching dhanush as one of the producers and shot and packaged in such a way that it reaches a large audience impacting them so much that they never forget the reality of it love sex or dhoka after khosla ka ghosla and oye lucky lucky oye the expectation from director divakar banerji was another quirky comedy but using the concept of found footage a new hey! form of visual storytelling using amateur handicams cctv cameras underwater cameras and spy cameras Divakar unleashed a new kind of beast and he didn't just stop with experimenting with the way the film was shot he also experimented with the way he could scar our memories for life one of the most controversial incidents of our time was the dps mms scandal which was one of the earliest warnings of how technology can be used not only to improve our lives but also destroy our lives taking this incident and theme as a seed divakar developed a set of three slightly interlinked stories with each of them pushing the boundaries of mind fuck In all my years of watching cinema, this was my scariest big screen experience of a non-horror film. Amis, remember the Lunchbox starring Irfan Khan and Nimal Kaur? Great Kaur's? film. Two strangers who have never met each other before are connected to each other by their destiny and their love for food. Amis is an Assamese film that follows pretty much the same path with a middle-aged doctor and a young PhD student. I don't remember if Indrani has seen this one. We may have to watch food. this as we How approach Halloween. Goes because of the different meat dishes that they try together at local eat. trees but slowly things start getting into dark territory and nothing can prepare you for what happens most of the film plays out like this breezy feel good platonic relationship drama but the mistake i made was that i read the plot of the film before watching it so i oh. had this constant feeling of anxiety anticipating when and how the main plot point of the film is going That to sucks. get into the narrative 
especially if you're a vegetarian i would strongly suggest you not to even think about watching this film but if you're curious and adventurous you have to try it because you now watch find a film another dish watch like it. this in indian cinema matrubhumi if we call a film disturbing we mostly mean there are certain visuals scenes incidents in a character's journey or endings of the movies that are difficult to watch but what director manish jha does with matrubhumi is that he sets the context and builds the world of the film within the first 5 10 minutes starting with a shocking gut wrenching scene and with every scene that comes after it it just goes from dark to darker to darkest without any mercy for the character or our Yikes. peace of mind set sometime in the future Matrubhumi explores an Indian village that is populated exclusively by men without a single woman. What its men would be like? How would they behave if they ever see a woman or worse, if that woman enters their family? Even if it was made on a very tight budget of 2 crores, I have no idea how this project got greenlit by producers because apart from a few minutes of hope, almost all the 90 minutes of the runtime are just a series of events dedicated to make the audience's blood boil to a higher degree. painting an absolutely hopeless picture of our country and the state of women in our country which is actually not very far from reality this is easily the most difficult disturbing and merciless indian film that i have ever watched and i challenge you to find something more disturbing than this what are your picks for the most disturbing and shocking i want to see them all let me know in the comments the ones obviously we haven't seen thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video uh that last one sounded very interesting very uh but also sounds extremely difficult I assume there's going to be Yeah, um just, just by the pictures alone it looks like it's like a rape, like lots of rape. I'm looking for that film I was referring to. Um and if I don't find it quickly, then I, oh well. Um I think it was French. So let me maybe disturbing French film. <laughs> There it is. Mm. And if this is the proper pronunciation for it, it's uh Titan. Oh, I've heard of Titan. Yes. I'll show you the the photo so that you guys can watch it if you want to see it. I'm pretty sure you could see it on Amazon. But this is this is the film. You want to see a shocking and disturbing film, do not let children watch this with you. If you have a weak stomach, you probably don't want to watch it. It is one of the most shocking and disturbing films I have ever watched. Are you sure you didn't see it cuz I'm pretty confident it was part of the Saga Awards 3 years ago. Maybe. And you would remember it. Mm, I might not have watched it that year. Okay. Um anyway, um he always does critics around the world should take notes from him mm. on how to recommend a film and review a film and not share any of the plot points or spoilers and story by talking about the film no one does it better than him that yeah. i've ever heard every time we hear him he always does an exceptional job of articulating the points of the film that are important to understand without giving anything away and letting the movies tell the story it's it's beautiful yeah. does a great job great job as always so if any of those films are ones that we should watch uh that we haven't seen already obviously we've seen amis and uh Adam. yeah Uh, when we love both those movie movies uh if there's ones in here that we should watch please let us know what they are um the last one the concept is really intriguing just the uh, village only only men and what would happen if they found but it sounds like they would do exactly what you think it would yeah. they do um <laughs> unfortunately yeah but uh, yeah let us know which ones we should watch and any other videos of his and other videos we can react to down below just